Hey guys, this is Metacosis Perfectionalis. Here is my new series for students studying for the MCAT exam. If you are studying for this exam, you'll find this series very helpful to you. This series is also good for students studying for medicine because they have to study molecular biology. Also, if you are studying biology in general, this should be fun and beneficial for you. So on my channel, Medicosis Perfectionalis, you will find a playlist named MCAT Biology. So let's get started with cell theory. The science of etymology deals with origin and history of words. So what does biology mean? Bio means life. Ology means the study of. From logos or logia. Cool. So biology is the study of life. As you know, the cell is the basic living unit or the building block of your body. Total human body cells is around 100 trillion cells. Just think about that. We divide the living organisms into prokaryotes or eukaryotes. Prokaryotes, they have no membrane-bound nucleus. They have a nucleoid, which literally means nucleus-like. Nucleus-like. Oid means like. Such as Android that you have on your phones. Okay. Android means human-like. It's a robot, so it's a human-like. Fun. Eukaryotes, they have membrane-bound nucleus. And prokaryotes, no mitochondria. Eukaryotes, they have mitochondria. Prokaryotes have no membrane-bound organelles. Eukaryotes have membrane-bound organelles. Prokaryotes, the DNA is naked and circular. Eukaryotes, generally, the DNA is protein-bound protein and linear. Prokaryotes have, are unicellular organisms. Eukaryotes can be unicellular or multicellular. Prokaryotes reproduce by binary fission. Eukaryotes reproduce by meiosis or mitosis. Prokaryotes, such as bacteria, an example of eukaryotes are human beings, such as you. So, prokaryote, they mean before nucleus. Prokaryote. Eukaryotes, you means true. Karyote means nucleus. Karyote also means nut. The nucleus is basically a nut. So, like normal people say, he was crazy, he went nuts. But biology students should say, he went karyotes. <laughs> I hate myself. There are four fundamental concepts of cell theory. Number one, all living cells are composed of cells. Shock, shock. This is like, like a shock. I, I have no idea. Yeah, like, yeah, really? Really all living things have cells? Wow. The cell is the basic functional unit of life. At least they said something. Okay. Number three, cells arise only from pre-existing cells. Oh, wow. Okay. Fourth is a new one, okay, it was just added recently. Cells carry genetic information in the form of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. But what about the virus? The virus is weird. Why? Because it does not reproduce on its own, okay, it needs a host. And the genetic information of the virus is not DNA. The genetic information of the virus is an RNA. So three and four do not apply to viruses. That's why viruses are weird organisms. We cannot consider them as living organisms per se. A group of cells will form tissue. Group of tissues, they will form an organ. Group of organs, they form systems such as the circulatory system, respiratory system, um, genital urinary system, whatever. The systems perform body functions. Question of the day. Are plant cells considered prokaryotic or eukaryotic? Let me know down below in the comment section. And you have to memorize the four tenets of the cell theory. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. 
Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, Instagram, I'm all over the place. And please consider supporting this channel on Patreon. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash Medicosis. Thank you so much. This is Medicosis Perfect Nailis. Be safe, stay happy, and study hard. Until next time.